Good evening. Um, we're going to do the closing speeches for our candidates tonight. Um, these speeches will be the last official part of elections, so after this, we'll be able to you know, meet with the candidates and chat with them informally before the voting takes place tomorrow morning at the Council of Presidents meeting. Um, so the speeches tonight, uh, because the closing speeches will be twice as long as the opening speeches, so for all of our director candidates, they will have two minutes um, to give their closing speeches. I'm not going to be really creepy and stand behind them tonight. Um, but I will be sitting in the front row, and if the candidates need to know, uh, I will signal to them when there are 10 seconds left in their speeches. So um, without further ado, please welcome uh, our West Squad Director candidate, Trevor Thompson, to the stage. Committee members. 
groups of pod calls will be a priority. Increasing the visibility and accessibility of SMEs can be an avenue to introduce more students to their national leadership opportunities, as well as connecting the work that is already being done internationally to your local chapter. We are an independent and strong group, and in this way, I hope to bring us all one step closer despite the distance. I love all of my Westie besties, and thank you for making the West Quad a place that I'm proud to call home.
My motivation springs from the truly positive impact the AIAS has had on my educational journey since joining, and I believe my fresh perspective on leadership will help you to extend our beloved AIAS even further beyond the studio confines into realms where our collective efforts can truly shape our professional futures. Our journey toward perfection is ongoing. The AIAS, with its strengths, has areas right for improvement. One of my goals is to make sure that every member of the Northeast Quad has the opportunity to take part in cross-school mentorship, leading to a more national nature of the organization. I propose a mentorship program focusing on portfolios crucial for our professional endeavors. A core issue close to my heart is the variability in architectural education. Many of us feel underprepared for tasks in studio projects from model making to economic analysis. My advocacy is for a teaching system that delivers knowledge when and where it's needed most. As a leader, I've already begun this journey, hosting panels and workshops to bridge the gaps between academia and the industry of architecture. If elected, I would extend these efforts, ensuring our chapters have robust connections to professional bodies like AIA chapters while advocating for education around improved collaboration between architects, contractors, and clients. The AIS is diverse and global reach is its strength. As a Northeast Quad Director, I would enhance this by enriching our hub hands by inviting members from our neighbor regions and quads to ensure to share insights and best practices. I propose a workshop to exchange successful event planning strategies, nurturing growth and connectivity among chapters. In fulfilling my professional responsibilities, I will bring a wealth of experience in leadership and communication. Let's work together to shape a brighter future for every AIS member. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Jack. Uh, next, we'll be hearing a closing speech from Kelly Chen.
Some sessions and insight that have spoken to me was amazing discussions in urban architecture, our awesome quad breakouts where I'm able to tell you guys my thoughts and hear from my fellow candidates. And finally, hearing from Danielle Del Sol and getting to hear about all this awesome culture and immersive experience they have here in New Orleans. We are all similar in many ways. Though we have different backgrounds, we are all in the same room for a reason. From networking to experiencing knowledge. While um, filling the role of quad director, I would re recognize the evolving communication while listening to your thoughts and help make change happen, helping bridge gaps between members and chapters while fostering inclusive and creative activities, bringing you guys closer together. My role is to ensure a year filled of connection, impactful activities, and fun. I'm here for you, and you guys are here for me. I feel that from experiences helping host a quad conference and now on a committee, I have the knowledge to support and bring change that is needed. Let's embrace the change and let's build on past successes and create traditions for years to come within the AIS community. So tonight, let's have fun, celebrate what it means to be an AIS. My dance moves might not be stellar, but we're all in this together. Let's go, Northeast Sexy Beasts.
this conference all together. I have had the great opportunity to hear from a lot of you. Um, and now all of our candidates have gotten up here and talked about what vast the community of the AIS. Um, and with that community comes uh, collaboration. In order to have this community that we all share, we need to have collaboration. And that is why I wanted to focus my campaign last year on collaboration overall, and I think it's still a dire need in our community. Um, and to, in order to get this community, um, collaboration between our quad is very one of my top priorities. Um, I want to focus more on more collaboration of our overall membership, rather than maybe just the chapter presidents attending our huddles, um, and figuring out how we can get our general body members to come to the community at large. Um, so that's one of my main initiatives that I want to focus on. Um, and also talking to others, I think, uh, just hearing the dire needs of the vast differences of our overall chapters. Um, and I think that's where my role will come into play. Um, as your leader, I hope to be able to share my experiences with you um, and fight the various difficulties that come with gaining members um, in all the various different um, chapters around the U.S. Um, I'll try to be brief, 
but um, I want you all to know that I've had a wonderful time uh, hearing from all of you about what you were looking for out of your Midwest Club Director. Um, I want to highlight three things that I heard as commonality from all of you. Um, first thing being that the role of Quad Director is meant to be something that is in service to all of you as chapter leaders and to advocate on your behalf to the National Board. Um, secondly, um, helping you guys out with um, figuring out how to overcome a lot of the financial barriers that are associated with um, things like these big conferences um, and ways that we can obtain a community that is uh, foundational to everything that makes the NIS great. And lastly, um, continuing to develop and nurture the community that the Midwest Quad uh, cherishes so much through things like our Herald Tells um, and reaching out to you all on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Um, so that's all for me. Um, I just want you guys to know that I heard you. Um, and thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to run for Middle Squad Thank you. Next up, we'll be talking about the Middle East Regional Director candidates. Uh, again, they're not here, but I have submitted video speeches. And the first speech is from Teresa. Dear AIAS family, as I present my candidacy for the position Middle East Regional Director through this video, I want to convey not just a list of personal experiences, but a profound commitment to the aspirations and needs of our diverse members. In my recent role as the president of the Anajah National University chapter, I led our community through challenges in the crisis of Palestine. Despite the difficulties, our collective resilience allowed us to craft initiatives that brought support to Gaza and beyond. Additionally, my uh, participation at various entrepreneurship programs and mentorship at competitions uh, and engagement and virtual exchange have enriched my understanding of uh, multifaceted roles that student leaders can assume. As I also have won places in different competitions and had a chance to meet people from all over the world and learn the new experiences from different experts, so I, I am eager to share this experience with uh, people from my region to uh, foster collaborations and to bring change to our community and uh, make our community's vibrancy uh, charm. This tapestry of experience has deeply influenced my perspective of unity resilience, and the transformative impact of student leaders during hard times. As I aspire to be the next Middle East Regional Director, my vision expands beyond convention. I intend to leverage these diverse experiences to foster collaboration among chapters, create initiatives tailored to the unique needs of our region, and make meaningful contribution to the overarching goals of AIAS. I express sincere gratitude for considering my vision, and I eagerly anticipate the opportunity to contribute to the resounding success of our esteemed global network. Sincerely, to the inside. And our final speech for Middle East Regional Director will be from Donna Batum. As current chapter president, I'm taking the opportunity to learn more about how we can grow more as a club and how members can get the most out of their memberships. I think there's always been a little bit of a question mark around this topic, especially on this side of the world. Uh, and addressing this will be very beneficial for m chapters in the Middle East. Becoming the Middle East Regional Director would be the next step in maximizing our potential as a student-led organization and one that is the student voice of the architecture world. Middle East chapters may feel somewhat distant from the broader benefits offered by the AAS organization, and this sense of isolation could stem from major events such as this one uh, being hosted solely in the US or having a misalignment of benefits with our local context. Addressing these issues is important in order to make AIS more accessible and relevant to Mid Middle East chapters. I believe by I believe that by tailoring our approach, we can encourage increased membership and create a sense of belonging within the larger AIS community. I think there is great potential in collaborating among nearby chapters. By facilitating cross-chapter collaboration, we can harness um, diverse perspectives to, to develop impactful uh, campaigns, innovative designs, and engaging events. Uh, more importantly, this collaborative effort 
can create a community that regularly shares ideas. This may also help encourage students to participate in competitions and create teams that are international and gain uh, ideas from each other. Um, and more, uh, a very important goal that may stem from this is to have students take initiative in communicating and networking outside their chapter. This can become a new culture that we cultivate and carry on throughout the years. Uh, I hope we can work together to achieve a closer knit community that can facilitate greater change for more inclusive inclusivity. Thank you. Next will be our Latin America Regional Director position. And we have one candidate uh, for this position. And the speech is from Juan Diego Cipriano with Maya Benitez. Hello again, everyone. I hope you're enjoying the forum and New Orleans as I have been enjoying it from Mexico. First of all, even though I'm just a candidate for the regional director position, I would like to tell you that I'm very thankful for this opportunity of having the chance to represent the Latin America community of IAS at these elections, a community that has been growing thanks to the hard work of the former and past regional directors of Latin America, and that I hope to continue doing if I'm elected at this position. I will continue to encourage Latin America chapters to work on planning events together, like workshops, conferences, study trips, expositions, etc., in order to achieve a closer and more cooperative community in the region. Also, encourage these chapters to work with other international chapters, like from the Middle East or from the US, by helping them as a bridge with all IS regions and directors. Also, I want to increase the exposure in social media of the work and activities that the Latin America region does in order to let other IS chapters know the hard work we do in our region and to help the chapters grow in their social media accounts. As Latin America director, I hope to get this region closer to the US and other international chapters, but also to help them create an identity as Latin America IS chapters, a community that will welcome any IS chapters and members in our countries cities, universities, culture and traditions, and I would love to participate with you together hand by hand in the future. Thank you so much for your time and have a nice day at Forum. Willing to listen 
and adapt to the needs of the AIS. Thank you all.
all of us to truly co-lead our organization alongside all of you. Now, I did get to talk to some of you over the past couple of days, and I've been taking notes, literally. And with that in mind, I would like to talk about three ideas I believe we could work on together. The first is transparency and connection. This can mean different things, but I would like to focus on them in better ways for soliciting member feedback to evaluate the efficiency, transparency, and inclusivity of our internal processes, as well as general areas of improvement. To me, this also comes with demystifying the work that uh, goes on behind the scenes, so that you can become more familiarized with it, and hopefully one day you feel more motivated to run for a position on the board. The second is accessibility and empowerment. None of this information would be helpful if we don't find a way to get that information and more, such as our programs, benefits, and resources, to you, and to do so in a much easier way. This includes working on our reports and newsletters so that they are more engaging for us, perhaps making them more visually engaging. Also, we can definitely work on our conferences, making sure that we are able to make them more accessible without sacrificing their quality nor the ability to get to meet each other in person, and with it, the benefits of being a part of the EIS. And third, finally, programming and collaboration. Collaboration is a big part of architecture, more so nowadays, and I think it is important that we develop more initiatives to support the existing chapters of getting in contact with others, both locally and around the world. Not just that, but also providing avenues to both national and international collaboration with interested parties and organizations that allow us to bring you more opportunities. Finally, I would like to close this closing speech by saying that, like many have said before me, an organization such as the AIS is only as strong as its members. In my perspective, this means that the more empowered you feel to take action, the more we are able to build an organization, allowing us to increase the tools and resources we provide you to continue growing as leaders and professionals. So let's make sure that we're taking that first step together. Thank you, and we'll see you at the ball. Thank you very much, Roberto. Uh, our second and final speech for the position of Vice President will be from Ella Hartsey. chapters 
neighbors, you know, their cities and everything to connect and to speak about like what they're struggling with and what their goals are. And they didn't really have anything set in stone similar to the AIS. And they had something similar to what the quads have with the um, Heartland huddles and everything like that. But one of my goals as vice president is to kind of really take into account that there is nowhere for these chapters to go as a whole, other than like Slack and stuff like that. But I was kind of thinking of having like an FAQ um, in that instance so that people could say like, hey, I'm having this problem in my chapter. Like I cannot make money to go to these conferences and everything like that. And then another chapter could chime in and say like, we actually have the same problem and here's how we solved it. Um, and then I also was speaking to some of you and I realized that not all of the quads are as close as the Midwest quad. I personally am from the Midwest quad, so thank you. <laughs> and uh, thank you to Liz and Ethan, honestly, during my time here, they did a great job of connecting the whole Midwest. And I was thinking about like all the ways that we really connected and it was through the conferences and um, you know, just speaking in person, online, and all of that kind of stuff. It's just, I'm not quite sure yet how to connect all of the other chapters, and honestly, that is up to the quad directors, but I would like as vice president to really start to put those together as well. I'm running out of time, so. <laughs> Anyways, um, another big one is the LGBTQAI+. And um, I am part of that community, as I have told you all in my other speeches, but I would like to learn more and start to advocate for that community and speaking on like how we can start engaging them into the corporate their careers and everything like that and teaching everyone that we are all equal in this community. Um, and then to end it, I just want to say that all of the members of the AIS have like the ability to do great things, but I think the AIS needs to start stepping in a little bit more and helping you all get to where you want to be in life. And if you have any other questions, please let me know.
fantastic partnerships that we have with NOMA, AIA, ACSA, and CARB and NAP together. We have liaisons that sit on board of directors with us this year, and through discussing, debating, and learning with each other at board meetings, I have learned through them that there is a lot of potential to collaborate and create a more equitable future for you. I've already seen what it could be, but at a smaller scale. As a recent member of the Noma Pittsburgh chapter, I've learned so much in just the short time that I've been on the build team from Project Pipeline workshops. For those of you who don't know, Project Pipeline is a series of K-12 workshops that empower students of all backgrounds to learn about architecture and to quote, empower young people to affect change in their community through design. I know it may feel like, time, feel like at times that we have to work against Noma because students may be only able to pay for one main membership, but that isn't how it should be. It is crucial that we work together with organizations like NOMA, Women in Design, Architectos, and the Architecture Lobby in creating a goal of supporting students from all backgrounds, ethnicities, and genders, because that is the essence of the AIS. We span across multiple countries, have people from back, all backgrounds, ages, and thoughts, and together we move things forward from learning from each other. It will be my goal to continue working with organizations like NOMA to have joint conferences and programming in the future. Remember, the power of our organization lies within the diversity of our members. So thank you again. Never hesitate to voice your thoughts and ideas, as if I'm elected national president, I will be voicing your ideas on a larger scale. And I can't wait to dance the night away with you all at the Bozarts Ball. Thank you. Yesterday, we were working at Disney. 
At Duke University, we've had multiple students paid internships and jobs at Disney, uh, working as Imagineers. Uh, these Imagineers are architects. They work as storytellers, working to tell the story of Disney through theme parks, through their cruise ships, and many other Disney experiences. But none of this can happen in isolation. It's about us, the collective force of passionate individuals committed to shaping the future of architecture and design. I invite each and every one of you to join me on this journey. Let's build a future where the AS not only thrives, but leads the way to creating a more innovative, inclusive, and impactful architectural landscape. Thank you for your trust, your support, and your belief in the power of our collective vision. Together, let's write the next chapter of the AIS, one that leaves a mark on the profession and the world in which we live. Thank you.